Hello, my name is Father Andy Pavlak, and if you haven't had the privilege of coming to Mass lately, you might not know that I am the new pastor here at Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. It's a joy to be here and to be able to speak to you today for just a couple of moments on where we are with our religious education program for our children, starting in pre-kindergarten, all the way up through our confirmation program in high school. It is an exciting time, but it's also a very, very strange time because there's many things going on. First off, of course, as you probably know, if not, this will be news, then some perhaps, that of course the Holy Norbertine friars who were here for many, many years, 35 years to be exact, have uh, moved on from the parish um, because of their own staffing issues and stuff. But um, they, in, as of July 1st, I became the first diocesan pastor in 35 years to take over the leadership here at Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. So this is an opportunity for me to say hello to all of you who may not have been able to come to church in the last weeks uh, and who are now starting the religious education program for this year. So transition is one big thing that's been happening. Secondly, of course, we have now officially begun our religious education program for this year. And again, as everyone knows, it's going to be a virtual or via cameras and recording kind of reality, at least for this first semester, maybe into the second semester, but we really don't know at this point in time. So. It is strange. It is not anything that any of us could have anticipated even a year ago or even, you know, eight months ago, but we are here now. And the main reason that we're doing this all virtually is to make sure that everyone in the community and in the church and in our programs are all safe. You know, we still don't know a whole lot about this whole virus thing and we're trying to keep everybody as safe as possible. And so we are truly, truly uh, grateful to all the people who are making this possible our leadership, our catechists, your parents, you, everyone, the staff who's working really, really hard to make sure that we have a quality program in this time of the COVID-19 realities. So that's number two. Number three, for the older children in our program, there might be some question as to, well, um, What's, what's, why all the changes? What's going on? Where did Alvia go? What's, what's that all about? And that is really just a reality of where we are in this COVID time and with the understanding of the fact that, uh, gosh, for years we have been blessed here at Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary to be able to have the luxury of having two directors of religious education. One for the younger students and one for the older students. Alvia was for the older students. With the reduced numbers in our programs, with the reduced income that we've had over the last months, with the reality of where we are and where we're going to be this year, it really was my decision to say, you know, I don't think we can embrace that luxury of having the two directors anymore. And we've got the very incredible blessing of our Jessica Valdez, who is has the experience of running a program from pre-K through high school. And when I approached her and said, Jessica, would this be something that you would be able to do and be excited to do? And she said with a wholehearted, yes, yes, I can, I can do that. I can do that with, of course, uh, a lot of help, which she's gotten from a lot of the catechists and volunteers and even parents and students. So um, I don't want to belabor this, but we, if you haven't been able to be here for a while, come on back if you feel comfortable to come to the Sunday Masses. Um, if you are still watching everything virtually, God love you. Um, the program will continue. It's going to be uh, different, but it's going to be substantive, which means there's going to be a lot of good substance in it. There's going to be a lot of opportunities for growth. There's going to be a lot of opportunities for celebrating and preparing for our sacraments. How will it all look exactly? I wish I could tell you. When will all this be changed and over? Again, I don't think anyone really knows. And so we have to be patient, we have to be uh, understanding, and we have to be diligent in what we're doing as a community. So again, Father Andy, I hope to meet you all at some point in time if we've not met yet. 
And uh, it's now my honor and privilege to present to you, although many of you have seen her, I'm sure, in different ways, in different uh, postings and different recordings, and certainly during registration and everything else, uh, our one direct director of religious education for Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, our dear and wonderfully talented Jessica Valdez. Jessica, come on, say a few words if you would, please. Thank you, Father. Hello, my name is Jessica Valdez, and I am the Director of Religious Education. And I am so excited um, to be journeying with you this year, especially as we move into a new virtual faith formation program, which will begin this week. Um, our hope is that you will continue learning about your faith at home and that parents will be very involved and engaged in their child's um, formation this year. So thank you all, thank you to all of our wonderful catechists who have stepped up to, um, again, journey with us in this unknown kind of holy mess that we're all in, but um, we will get through this together. So thank you. Thank you, Jessica. That's it, that's all we wanted to do today, was just kind of say hello and give you kind of a basis of some ideas, some ideas of what we're dealing with this year, why things are happening the way they are, um, again, if I could tell you when things will change back to the normal, I don't think anybody really knows when that will be. So, be patient, be diligent, be faithful, and know that uh, I look forward to getting to know all of you sometime. And as I said in my first introduction letter here, because of the whole COVID reality, it might take a little longer, maybe a lot longer, to get familiar with one another, but that's okay. We've got a lot of years to spend together, and so may God bless you and keep you, and we'll see you hopefully sometime real soon. Bye con Dios.